Welcome. Uh, I'm Darren Easton, a director at CFSI. Um, with me today are two longtime friends from Fifth Third Bank, um, Mark Earhart and Tom Carpenter. Um, Mark, would you go ahead and introduce yourself for everyone, and then we'll, Tom, you can introduce yourself. Sure. Uh, my name is Mark Earhart. I'm the director of retail and small business product with Fifth Third. Been with the bank for over 22 years. I'm Tom Carpenter. I work in retail product for Fifth Third Bank. Uh, and have been with the bank for around six years. Mark, I want to start with you. Um, I, you know, we met probably about four years ago at a client conference um, where the subject was uh, how to reach underbanked consumers. Um, and I want to know, how has CFSI sort of shaped your thinking about the American consumer? Yeah, you know, uh, when I think back actually to CFSI, I think they've been on my radar screen for even prior to that, maybe even a few years earlier. Uh, I think I was at a conference and somehow got my way into a, uh, some sort of lunch and learn and Jennifer was running it and there were other people there. And it's the first time I actually sat in a room with people to talk about underbank consumers. It's something I had some interest in. Uh, we'd always had the thought process at Fifth Third that there were products and services that our customers were getting from other providers outside of the bank and outside of the banking system. And it was like, why wouldn't we want them to do that, those business with us? So Tom, CFSI produces a lot of research. Um, what research have we produced that have helped, that's helped you think about uh, products to serve people? That's a good question. I, you have to go back a long way for, for me and my relationship with CFSI. I mean, I was a panelist in 08 in Dallas before it was called Emerge. And um, it, it centered on the underbanked. And so the data that was provided back then and the, um, the situation as was described with, at the time, you know, the underbanked space was a little unknown and growing. And um, I, I was working for FIS, so I, was, uh, I had a lot of things around the front end with check systems and decisioning folks and trying to get them into the banking system. We still use um, CFSI uh, thought leadership and, and data. And I think we'll continue to do so, especially as you look on the horizon around our express banking program um, and other products that we're putting out that we want to either enhance or even build up from scratch. I mean, we have a lot of opportunities together, I think. Um, and it's going to come down to data. Darren, actually, I'd bring up uh, another example. So on small dollar credit, we uh, uh, obviously have been, had a lot of interest in that space. And uh, I think it was maybe three years ago you came out with the kind of the, the four consumer uses for small dollar credit with the misaligned cash flow and the one-time emergency needs. And we actually took that graphic and, and one of my product managers at Fifth Third uh, actually kind of blew that up like full size and put it in his office as he was working on small dollar credit to just kind of keep him focused on what the consumer needs were. And I'll also admit this too, when we actually met with the CFPB, we took a kind of smaller version of that and put it in our presentation to them and actually said, hey, this is the work that CFSI has done. We actually believe that this is very consistent with what we see with our consumers. And they were very much, yes, we're familiar with that work. We also agree with it and was, was good validation that the research really um, is, is spot on in many cases, but very, very useful for us in that respect. So Tom, can you tell me um, why you, got, you all at Fifth Third decided to join our network um, and what benefit you think that brings to you all? in your business? Sure. I'm a product manager for a very large financial institution. I have a, a significant amount of day-to-day -day responsibilities. The network itself exposes us to a lot of unusual partnerships that we wouldn't ordinarily um, run into that don't, that actually wouldn't call on us either, uh, you know, under normal circumstances. So R&D and going out and doing research and trying to find uh, compatible vendors or, or partners um, that, that's a difficult thing for me. I, I think the value of the network, especially if you're in a very um, disciplined vertical like retail banking, um, it, it brings a lot of that to the forefront that I wouldn't ordinarily see. So we're all aware of CFSI's mission to improve financial health in the United States. Um, what do you think Fifth Third is really doing to improve the financial health of your millions of customers? Yeah, you know, it's an interesting question because I think initially when we heard the terms like financial health, I think we got it conceptually 
And the more we thought about it, we thought, well, these are things that Fifth Third has been thinking about and doing for a while. So um, we had always had a very strong kind of customer focus. Um, you know, as a regional bank, we can't always compete with brand and technology that a national provider would have. Uh, but then it's also, you know, on the smaller end, we've got community banks, credit unions that provide very much personal service. Um, so we're somewhere in the middle, and we have to find the right way to do that. So focus on the customer becomes important. And really, when you focus on the customer, that's when financial health really comes to the fore, because you realize that, you know, even customers that may appear to be healthy, once you sit down and have a conversation with them, they have anxieties, they have concerns, they have just issues they need, problems they need solved. A logic, logical extension of that is really turning it into, well, what is this doing to kind of improve their financial health? So for us, it was really a good framework that really kind of fit with things that we were already doing. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Let me say this. I, I would say in general, um, any time that you can get a network together um, uh, of like, or actually not always like-minded individuals, but sometimes diverse individuals uh, and diverse mindsets together in a, whether it's in a larger forum like a merge or whether it's within a round table or whether it's just on a uh, conference call or something like that, I think there's tremendous benefit um, to having that interaction. Uh, and I do think that the, the diversity of thought that you get within uh, CFSI uh, with the various network partners, both banks and non-banks, uh, is really critical. And the CFSI working groups are the exact type of collaboration that we're looking for. Mm -hmm.